Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster is one of the newest additions to the GFN library, but is it worth it? Today we're here to answer just that, so let's dive right in and get to it. Let's begin by pointing out that everything you're about to see is the game running on GeForce Now's Ultimate tier. In terms of in-game settings, everything's set to the highest possible setting with DLSS set to quality and frame generation off. Though I do need to point out that I do turn off motion blur and depth of field as a personal taste of mine. With these settings, you can expect some really solid performance, most of the time maintaining 120 FPS with some dips to 110 and sometimes below that during rare occasions. I will point out that if you want to maintain that 120 FPS mark, you can turn frame generation off and achieve that, but I personally turn it off to avoid any added latency. Though since this is a single player game, you're more than welcome to turn it on and you'll probably be able to enjoy the experience all the same. Pushing frame rate to the side for a second, I do have to say that the visuals are a massive step up from the original. Things like character models, environmental textures, and even animations have all been revamped and it's easy to see. The devs behind the game have done a fantastic job here when it comes to making this game breathe new life in a modern era. And since we're on the topic of changes made, it'd be wrong of me not to mention all the quality of life features that have been added. And by that, I mean that there is a ton to make the game a lot more playable, once again, in this modern era. From auto-saving to better AI, it all helps make the game feel much more playable. In fact, just adding durability to whatever weapon you're holding is a huge benefit. But I also don't want you to get it twisted. Just because they've improved the quality of life features and added some new additions that definitely make the game feel better to play, it still has the nostalgic feeling of being Dead Rising. You're still gonna deal with a little bit of that jank if you know what I mean. While the AI is much improved, it'll still be the reason you get upset at the game every now and then. But I think most people who played the game in the past would simply acknowledge that it wouldn't be Dead Rising without it. Now as for running the game on GeForce Now, I can tell you right now that it's been a flawless experience and one well worth it. As per usual, it was as simple as going into the game, putting all the settings to max, and just enjoying that ultra experience. Even running at 4K, it handled it without any issue whatsoever, and that's always great to see. Now I did play the game both on mouse and keyboard and controller in this case, and I would highly recommend sticking with controller because the game just feels much better that way. I didn't run into any issues with either, and ran into no issues streaming the game itself. So if you're on GFN Ultimate, it's a very solid experience and one I have no problem recommending. Now normally I would end the video here, but since people seem to actually be liking the videos of raw gameplay to see what the game looks like without any sort of commentary, I'm gonna add two minutes of raw gameplay here at the end. Regardless, you now know that the game gets my stamp of approval, so go check it out, and as always, I'm looking for feedback if you want anything additional in these videos. Any and all feedback is welcome, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. And as always, this has been Steven from Anytime Anywhere Gaming, I hope you have a great day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds. There's something cool over here, Frank. Why don't you take a quick snapshot? It's too dangerous. I owe you one. I appreciate that. No!
All we have to do is wait here, right? 